And so just by taking away their pain, they're able to find compensatory mechanisms to help them get back to sport. And 72% uh, uh, of those patients who did return to ski said that they returned at a same or actually even improved functional level. Um, so so that, that speaks to how debilitating pain is as a factor for, for limiting patients playing the sports that they love. When, when we look in the literature, it seems most surgeons will uh, allow return to play for some, some contact sports between six and 12 months, but about half of surgeons will actually not allow their patients to re return to any contact or specifically collision sports uh, after, after such surgeries. But uh, I think we're, we're in an age now where the surgeries are better and uh, patients are more eager to return to sports. So, I mean, how do you advise patients on, on getting back to play? Yeah, it's, it's a really interesting question, you know, because I think that, you know, your paper really adds to the body of literature in terms of expectations, right? And I think that if you're a surgeon who is doing these kinds of operations, you don't necessarily know, you know, what patients are capable of. And a lot of times our patients are doing things without telling us, right? And so, and, and so they may be back to skiing, but they just don't tell their surgeon because they're afraid that their surgeon, you know, might have either already told them don't go back to skiing or, or is going to be afraid that they're going to have a fall and have some sort of catastrophic uh, issue, you know? And I think the reality is that that stuff doesn't really happen, you know, or it doesn't happen with any sort of regularity. And if you have an injury serious enough to, to get injured, you probably wouldn't get hurt anyway, even if you didn't have a long, uh, long construct spinal fusion. Um, I've often found that it's actually the spouse or the family members of a patient who are more afraid than the patient is themselves, especially in the post-op period. You know, the, the, the patient who's feeling much better after surgery, who no, no longer has the pain that they had, is kind of itching to get back to activities. And, and I tend to actually let people get back. You know, once they're about six months out from surgery, as long as they're doing well, they've regained strength, you know, they're, they've essentially plateaued in terms of simpler rehab. I tell them, hey, look, you know, go work with a personal trainer or a physical therapist and you can slowly get back to anything that you want to do, whether that's skiing or any other type of uh, uh, sport that might have, um, you know, a collision aspect to it. So, but the important thing is that I think that, you know, patients are going to be doing what they want to do.